Hello again. I'm going to continue the discussion of the alert controller. In the last video, I created an alert controller and presented it to the screen using present view controller. Okay. So, you know, in, in that video, the view controller, um, it showed up just as a box with a message. And you can see, we'll see it again here. I'll, I'll click on the thing and you can see here's the title and then the message appears below it in a smaller font okay so what I want to do now is I want to add a button to the bottom of the view controller of the alert view that is okay so um, you know because I'll want to close the alert view when it's you know when we're done with it if we cancel or something right so um, to do that I'm gonna add a, an alert action so I'll say let um, how about, let's call this one cancel, Oops, let's spell it right, cancel equals UI alert action, okay? So the alert action is something that an alert controller can do, and there's, you know, the alert controller can do a couple things, um, and alert action is one of them, right? And you can make more than one action, I should say, right? So, so this is going to be one of the actions the alert controller can do. So I'll say alert a UI alert controller action and then I'll look at the list here and I want this option here that says title string style UI alert style blah 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 okay and so I'll hit return and there's a couple things here right I've got you know title string um, let's give this the, the string of cancel and then it says style UI alert action style Okay, so so this item here, I'm going to hit return, and this has um, the UI alert action style. There's a couple of these, and this is a, a class that defines those styles. So I'll put the dot here, and then you can see that there's, there's three styles right there. Okay, so there's um, cancel, default, and destructive. Okay, and these do a couple things. So I want the cancel action because that's what I'm creating, but let, let's talk about the three options here. So cancel is the cancel button, okay? Um, default is sort of the standard button that's going to do something and the one that we would choose most often, okay? Destructive means that, you know, by tapping on this, you're going to do something that's going to have permanent effect, okay? And when we choose these options, um, the system is going to style the button in a way that, that agrees with the, with the option that we chose. So the cancel is always going to kind of look like the cancel button. The default is going to look like the default choice. And destructive is going to look like, you know, it'll have a warning on it, okay? So, um, you know, by default, the cancel button, um, I think it just has the regular font style. The default, like when we choose default, then the style of the button is going to be um, bold. So it'll be a little heavier than the cancel. And then when you choose destructive, the color of the text on the button is red. Okay, and that may change in the future because this is tied to the operating system. So, you know, if Apple comes with another, you know, iOS update and they come up with a new operating system, then it may have a different style and we'll just use the current style. Okay, so I'm going to choose um, cancel as the style. Okay, and you can see it's UI alert action style dot cancel. And then we have a handler here and the handler is a, um, a block, which is sort of like an inline function, a block of code you can think of it as, right, that is executed when you tap the cancel button. And actually, you know, in our case, when you tap the cancel button, I don't want anything to happen. So I'm going to fill this in with nil. And then you can see that the closing parentheses is sort of gray. So I'll use the arrow key to move over it, and that'll make it black and complete this line of code. Okay, so now that we've created our, our UI alert action, um, it actually doesn't do anything by itself. We need to add this UI alert action to the alert that we created up here. And then when we present it, it'll, you know, this cancel button will appear in the alert. So to add this to the alert, I'm going to say alert, which is the name of the alert controller we created. And then I'll say dot add. And I'll just top, start typing add. And it'll show me, you know, all of the items that begin AD, right? So there's add action, add child, add observer, add text field, right? What I want to do is I want to add an action, 
Okay, so I'm going to add an action, and this action has to be, you know, a UI alert action, and that's what we created here, UI alert action, right? So I'll hit the return key. It'll type that in. And then what I want to do is right here um, where it says action, you know, it's expecting a UI alert action. I'm going to type in cancel, okay, because that's my UI alert action that I created on the line above. And there we go. Now we've got a cancel button. Let's test it. So I'll click the play button here. And I'll wait for the simulator to start up. And there's my, my app. And now I'll hit the city button. And there's my alert box, and it now has a cancel button. Right? And I can click that, and the cancel button automatically closes the alert. Okay? Um, so that looks pretty good. Let's let's give it another um, another button, and we'll follow the same procedure we used with the cancel button. So I'll say let OK equal UI alert action, and again I'll I'll use the code hints to my best advantage here. So when I see UI alert action show up, I'll just hit return, so it'll type it all for me, um, and then I'll see the options here and choose the one with the title and style and hit return. So I'm essentially making the same thing we did above here. And for the string for the title, I'll say OK. And for the UI alert action style, I'll say default. OK. So and to get the default, I'll just start typing it and then I'll wait for the code hints to fill in the rest and hit return. And we might want to do something with this action later, but for right now, why don't we just put in nil? And then I'll go back and fill in a block for this later, okay? So now we've got our OK button, and we'll have to add it as an action to the alert. So I'll type in alert, and then I'll say add action. And the action I want to add is OK. So now when I hit, um, when I test the, the project here and uh, show the dialog box. You can see here now I've got an OK button. And the OK button, since it's a default action, it's um, it's a little bit you know bolder than the um, the text here. And you can click it and it closes the box, right? And if we had a text field in here, if you hit return, the default action will also close the box because it's a default action. Okay. So anyway, so there's a, there's a little bit more on the alert controller and how to use the alert controller.